Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Back here with a new video. And I already made a video how to build a grow box. Uh, so you can definitely check that out. But in this video, I'm going to talk uh, some more about uh, building a grow box. But I'm also going to show you the basics. So you can actually just start with this video. Um, yeah, let's start right away. Um, when you are building a grow box um, I got some questions from people they say um, yeah what are the exact dimensions and this and that but it's important to understand the concept behind it and when you you understand that you can you can literally turn everything in a grow box from a carton box to a speaker to a PC box to a closet to a room what a lot of people do but then you have different forms when you start this uh, what I meant to say when you start you have different forms um, you have a square one and I said it in the video before when you do this you have a flower pot here and you don't have a lot of grow space this form is actually uh, yeah like a PC box um, not the best form like again when I put a flower pot here you have you don't have a lot of space um, so the best option is to have it in this form you can have several pots and then you have enough grow space so just be aware that uh, you you, you uh, keep the height as, as uh, big as possible as uh, the, the height maximum height um, that's super important and when you start a PC box let, let's uh, I will also sh show you the ex example from this uh, perfect uh, uh, setup in this way maximum height so you will have plants growing over here just to give you a few um, and I will show you the air input so the air input is always low so you have the air input here or something uh, grow tents or grow boxes most of the times have a um, how you can close it and here the air comes in uh, so you have cold air cold air is always low that is just a fact and cold air comes in from here and the hot air there's always a hole at the back or something or you can even put that on top so all the hot air can get away that's basically what an um, how a uh, grow tent works and uh, when you're talking about a carbon filter you can use carbon filter in two ways you can put a carbon filter here so the the, the let's say a dirty air that smells like cannabis goes into the filter that's how I do it but you can also uh, place the carbon filter in the grow tent uh, the smell of the plants will get into the carbon filter and then you have this connected to the output maybe it's a, it's a bit difficult to understand but you can use the carbon filter in two ways so that's the perfect setup um, and it's actually very simple an air input air output and you hang the lights carbon filter and that's it I mean just look at an empty grow tent um, how simple it looks um, uh, when you when you when you check an empty grow tent on Amazon or something like that. So I showed you the best possible option when you are building a grow box or choosing an uh, yeah when you are uh, picking an option to turn into a grow box. Height is key. I said it before, but if you watched my videos, you know I'm all about the PC grows. Uh, I have PC box and that's why uh, that's where I uh, uh, grow my auto flowers so this is actually um, the form of PC box 
uh, you don't have the perfect height definitely not because yeah when you have a flower pot here you don't have a lot of space but what you uh, can do when you are um, growing up out of flower in such a small place is apply low stress training so you let the plant grow a bit like this then up so the first weeks you let it grow and after two and a half week or three weeks you start bending it to the right and that's a process that you need to repeat a lot of times but with this setup um, yeah it, it gave me an, 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 an harvest of 25 grams and uh, you can look at that video and when you when you would check that you will see that I have a big flower pot over here and the plants would grow like this and you had buds here buds here 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 but this place over here totally empty I mean PC grow box is small and I mean then you need to use all the space I mean that's just the uh, simple logic and I thought yeah that gave me 25 grams and uh, I was very happy with that but I thought that that must be there must be a better option and I will show you when um, when you are um, growing in a PC box you have different options you can use one big flower pot or you can do this you have several smaller ones depending on how big your grow box is mine isn't too long um, so I can use two but if you have the space you can even maybe go for three and then you have um, much more space for the plant to grow because you use a smaller flower pot and of course you can apply some low stress training uh, I always make holes around the flower pot so you can bend this one a bit to here maybe someone here you know and um, that way you use all the space and it is much more efficient so you have different options when you are um, setting it up uh, one big flower pot I think in a, a micro grow isn't the best option and I did that before uh, had great results and if you look at my current grow um, yeah you will see that I uh, have uh, used this option and this is what people call a sea of green uh, because you have a lot of small flower pots and when you would open uh, the grow box you will see only a lot of flowers next to each other and sea of plants sea of green that's uh, where the name is coming from and then it's starting to rain very hard maybe you can hear that but let me tell you something quick about setting this up um, yeah obviously when this is totally closed like you see over here um, yeah no plant would grow like this because the plants need oxygen and uh, there needs to be an airflow for the plants so again you have an air input over here you can put it on a lot of places you can even put it on the bottom but I have it over here that hole is actually pre-made um, the funny thing about PC cases is that they also have an air input and an air output because all the hardware inside needs to be cooled so that works very good because our plan needs to be cooled also so um, that's why I think most of the boxes have an air input over here and the funny thing is that the they have fans mounted over here the, mine has even two space for two fans I didn't need to uh, make some custom uh, 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 stuff to install it it was just from the PC box so here is where the cold air comes in and over here I have the fans that blow the air outside and the air blows in because I also have a fan over here just see that in my uh, 
damn it looks so ugly you can just see that in my um, in my PC grows so that's very important you need to have an air input and an air output so the plant can get fresh air and it's also important that you uh, wire them correctly I used uh, just USB wiring uh, where you um, charge your phone uh, without a strong adapter or something so um, the fans are spinning uh, but they aren't at their full power and with the heat problems that I have in my micro yeah that isn't very smart to do um, but yeah I'm just looking for the right stuff to buy at the right time but um, yeah this is very important uh, the air input and the air output and also of course when you are growing some nice plants you have frosty buds hanging and it will smell of course and obviously you can put put an, um, an carbon filter inside here so I have my carbon filter over here blows the dirty I won't call it dirty because I like the smell but it um, blows the dirty air into the carbon filter over here and it gets neutralized very simple so I've explained you the most important things about the PC grow box um, yeah one of the nice things about a pc grow box is that a pc box is set up in a way that we can use it it has pc fans it has air input so but it's important to check that um, one thing i would like to mention is that some of the pc cases have a beautiful design and maybe they have some um, some holes so maybe here is a bit open and here because uh, for a PC PC box that is okay because they, that they can lose the heat uh, so they have some holes over here maybe that is a very big uh, I've seen that a lot um, but for us it is important to uh, to close these things because when you have a carbon filter over here but you have holes over here the air can ex escape and uh, the air over here will be neutralized but here you will have air that escaped and your room will still smell like cannabis so watch for that close these holes and how to do that uh, I have a tip for you um, inside you obviously don't use aluminum foil you use uh, mylar or some uh, reflective stuff that you use in the car for the Sun and uh, when you have holes uh, put the reflective uh, uh, foil over there and then some um, some tape or something in the color of the grow box to let it look nicely uh, because the lights in the grow box will be uh, very strong and, um, and maybe you, they will shine outside so when you have the reflective foil the light will bounce back and you won't have uh, light shining outside and those holes won't block the neutralizing process so that's very important also and let, let me tell you something about the lights obviously when you are placing lights you don't have you can use big grow lights so that's why CFLs are a very good option E27 CFL bulbs and let me pick this one and also LED bulbs I use them both and you have E27 electricity cords and I have a hole over here in my PC box that um, uh, where I can um, uh, where the cables can get out and um, yeah just like in a normal uh, PC box and I try to um, keep them together I mean just for some structure <clears throat> but also for safety you I mean um, I, I talked with some of my subscribers that have a lot of knowledge about this also and they say nothing nothing can really happen and I definitely trust them but you can never be too careful so um, yeah uh, I tie wrap them here so they are also always up and um, yeah that's how I uh, fix my uh, wiring 
and uh, yeah obviously I have a lot of cables because I have uh, sometimes six bulbs in my PC box so I have six of these cables and then it's definitely important to structure them and um, yeah let them uh, outside this way and another thing that I've applied just recently is that I um, uh, took a, a, a big plastic bag, just a simple one that you get from shopping and I place that on the floor over here because when watering and stuff you don't want um, especially when you have a wood on the floor to, so the water can get uh, in so with this grow tents have this also uh, so the whole floor is covered with plastic so you won't have any uh, uh, problems with um, uh, with the water leaking and um, I mount these lights by using um, how do you say that um, don't know the correct name but it is uh, the material that you can bend um, and it has some steel inside and plastic around it you probably know what I mean and you saw it, saw it in my videos um, and, and it makes it very easy to um, to mount the uh, CFLs at the right position. I see some grow boxes they have uh, the CFL lights uh, mounted on one place. I mean, then you just didn't understand how a micro grow works because you need to uh, place the lights on different positions during the grow. With CFL a lot and with LED a bit less because you can put them uh, on a, a pretty big distance um, about 30 centimeters between the light and the plant uh, but yeah just be aware that the lights need to be replaced so, so sometimes especially when you're doing a very good grow uh, sometimes uh, every few days you need to replace them so yeah definitely uh, check it out and uh, yeah, look on my website, I have all the stuff that you need for your uh, grow box. And first I'm going to talk, uh, tell you something about my uh, pre previous grows. And later on, I will show you some of the some some grow boxes. I made a video earlier about uh, complete grow boxes and um, PC cases, but um, yeah, I found some interesting stuff. So I searched some more and I found some interesting uh, PC cases where you could, you can do. Uh, yeah a lot of cool stuff so um, yeah here's a video that I uh, that I already uh, made and uh, yeah like I said before I found some interesting stuff and yeah if you would look on my page you can see I've done several grows I mean uh, if you look at this video yeah, the buds were uh, yeah one of the frosties that I had. I mean, look at the structure and stuff. And I have uh, harvested Brooklyn Sunrise before, all in a PC grow box. You can uh, check the videos. I even have a strain review over here. And here I have a white berry in a CFL grow and uh, yeah grown with uh, CFL only here see the white of uh, no the Brooklyn sunrise grow again so I've done a lot of stuff and I mean just look at this <laughs> this nice jar over here was just from a micro grow and even with a lot of mistakes I mean I learned so much so uh, yeah, I will sh show you some other stuff later on about my grows, but um, yeah, you can just see what is uh, possible if you look at my page. And yeah, let's go to the grow boxes. 
um, why I made a video so quick again about the same subject is um, yeah because I found some other stuff because yeah look at this uh, grow box um, just uh, $40 and look at the size I mean it's com comparable to my uh, grow box and it looks uh, very decent and uh, I mean just look at it and um, also if you look inside very nice price so I just want to show you some other stuff the links will be on my website I mean check this one over here this one was oh these are almost the same price and um, check what you see over here they even uh, it even goes with a uh, blue LED fan and I only show the uh, boxes that are even big as mine or even bigger the most are a lot bigger and that's why I'm yeah kind of uh, how do you say enthusiastic about this uh, stuff because I, I thinking about uh, buying a new one you have so such nice things over here for a good price also um, so yeah this one comes with a nice uh, LED fan I love those LED stuff I have a nice uh, LED light in my uh, uh, in my room you know Philips the living colors light and um, yeah I also want to show you this I mean I hope some girls are watching my channel also um, had some comments from from girls before but yeah it would be super cool to have your own grow box in pink I mean <laughs> And price is uh, also okay. Red LED fan comes with this. Uh, and I th thought I just needed to show you this because, and it's uh, comparable to my uh, grow box. So um, these that I show you are not the biggest, but um, yeah, like I showed you before, what is possible and even uh, I mean I'm not a professional uh, what I did in my PC grows uh, that you can do so much a lot of things better and and I'm go and I'm going for a better better harvest and stuff of course so definitely check it out but um, yeah very cool stuff definitely for a girl or for a boy I mean I don't judge <laughs> but um, nice stuff indeed <laughs> and I just want to show you this one also I, mean, I just love the design of these uh, I mean when you when you have grow tent or um, uh, something uh, something else I mean th th those things look so boring I mean the, the definitely the, the the prices of grow tents are very cool uh, very cheap so that's that's a very good thing but just look at this amazing and decent size also bigger than mine definitely bigger than mine and um, yeah you can you can make your uh, custom uh, PC grow box with this very nice and also I mean look at this white one it just looks like an Apple uh, device or something um, but like I said in the previous video um, you need to maybe to uh, move some stuff or uh, break them out. Uh, that's that's normal when you need to make uh, when, you, when you have a PC box because this will um, be in the um, how do you say it? Uh, will will block it a bit. But um, yeah, I mean, look at the design. This one doesn't come with a nice. LED fan, at least I don't see that, or maybe, but um, very, very nice uh, size also, bigger than mine, a lot bigger, so that's why I'm thinking about uh, buying another one, and uh, if you have seen my grow box, it's just very basic, and why not uh, have, have, the, have the plants in a nice uh, grow box? 
and uh, okay this one was uh, was a bit more expensive most definitely but a uh, beautiful design and I can see that a lot of these scroll boxes are built for design also I will show you some other stuff later on more crazy than this and uh, even bigger and look at this one nice price it's just about $50 and they even come in different colors I mean look at this <laughs> amazing stuff and I think these things are cheaper nowadays because yeah not a lot of people buy these things uh, things about uh, tablets and stuff because look at the price I mean it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing and this one is very nice because you can just see that you only need to remove this thing this one was actually just like mine you need to remove this uh, vertical bulk over here and this one that's horizontal and then you're set i mean you have all the space i mean and look at the dimensions very nice also so um yeah i hope you are enjoying this with me i mean um uh, you can do a lot of stuff when I uh, started uh, with my uh, grow box people said to me what the hell are you doing and uh, I can even understand that because I messed up two plants um, of course it would be possible to have a super small flower pot and um, as an experiment have a small plant but yeah then I could just grow it in front of the window or something and the no need for a PC box but uh, yeah I had a plant and it was too big didn't know what to do had other problems but when I uh, know about low stress training and um, how to do everything on the right time yeah I mean uh, there's so much possible and uh, the boxes that I show you are even bigger than mine and <laughs> I mean look at this I mean crazy this comes with uh, with the LED fans like you see over here but um, yeah I love these uh, design stuff but um, um, if you if you want to have a stealth setup uh, I mean this thing you can cover it easily and it's definitely necessary to cover it with uh, reflective uh, foil but if you want to go for a stealth setup this can give problems because um, I think most of the time with all the lights and stuff you can see through these uh, uh, ventilation uh, holes but I mean just looks beautiful a bit more expensive but look at the design and um, very very uh, very big also definitely uh, thinking about switching to another one and I have another cool one over here I mean just look at this one the color bright uh, red definitely uh, um, more expensive but um, and also in different colors um, but when I look at this one um, I don't see it here but this one is also almost ready to uh, yeah to start your grow I mean you only have to remove this over here and then you're set definitely uh, more expensive but just look at the uh, complete grow boxes they also cost a lot and they come with the fans and uh, the, 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 it's gigantic I mean just look at this 20 inches in uh, in height So I think that's for, for us half a meter. I can do a lot of stuff over here. And even the length of this is also important. I didn't talk about this, but <laughs> just look at it. And um, yeah, let's go to the next one that I have on Amazon. I mean, this is PC grow box of a bus. I mean, just look at it. Beautiful. It has fans with um, 
they have a different different color LEDs also I mean this one looks like <laughs> you don't even need to remove anything you can just start your grow directly this is definitely the yeah this is the most expensive one definitely also the most beautiful I mean just look at it um, I mean this this thing over here is um, you can see through it so if you if you want if you if you're going for the stealth setup you uh, need some customization but you always need to do some customization uh, for the uh, reflective foil and stuff and let me show you quick over here that I have a video over here how to build a grow box so when you would um, buy a grow box like this I have this video and I show you everything and you can just watch my grow videos and see how I do it I have several videos about the lights also and uh, yeah I found some other ones on eBay and again uh, I have some cheap ones just look just $40 and look at the dimensions over here um, almost same as mine and you can also use a box like this for uh, for the flower, I mean the grow stage, and you have other box where you can um, um, when you, when you, a bigger box when you do the flowering and stuff. Um, so you have two boxes, so you can uh, always you are always busy. It's also something I want to uh, do later on. Um, uh, also, a very nice one over here, just fifty uh, fifty dollars. And uh, yeah, look at the dimensions. I think this is very. Uh, if you if you want to go for an uh, for, for for a PC grow box, made in, make make it yourself. I mean, you just look at it. Uh, Fifty bucks. Ships worldwide also. This one is a bit different, but also 50, uh, 50 bucks. I will have all the links on, uh, on my website. Look at the dimensions. Here I have another one, also not uh, not expensive, and this one had also very uh, very nice uh, dimensions. I mean, look at the height over uh, 20 inches, and comes with uh, LED fan. And I also want to show you that you have these uh, have PC fans over here. Uh, this one has a lot of LEDs and a different color. So yeah, I, I'm talking uh, from a from a grower's perspective, um, and uh, maybe some of you will have uh, a lot of. Uh, knowledge about computers and you think what the hell is this guy talking about but yeah I just I, I grow my cannabis in a uh, PC uh, box and I had some great results um, smoked uh, smoked uh, smoked a couple of joints from my own uh, harvest uh, just uh, just a few hours ago and um, yeah I can prove it with uh, with my videos a lot of stuff over here And I'm back everyone thanks uh, yeah that you're still watching and uh, like prom like a promise I'm going to show you some other micro grow options uh, <laughs> I just recorded this but I had audio problems so I need to record this again 
<laughs> I hope you believe uh, what kind of mess it is sometimes to uh, to do this everything. But I love to uh, bring this information to you and these nice products. Over here I have a nice uh, grow tent, a complete grow tent that I found. And what I like about this one is that... Um, yeah, you have uh, everything um, in this uh, uh, grow tent. Uh, like you can see over here, you have a nice carbon filter with uh, with the fan and even a hose. And look at this. There's a nice uh, LED system that fits in the tent and. Yeah, you see the price this is uh, definitely not expensive. When you look at grow boxes, they are a lot more expensive. Of course, because you pay for the design and um, yeah, for the building quality and everything. But a uh, grow tent is very simple. Um, of course, when you put a grow tent in your room, people will ask, uh, you know, what, what the hell is that? No, 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 not every day that you see a grow tent in somebody's room, but if you don't mind questions, this is a very nice option. Um, yeah, the inside is perfect for reflection. Everything is fixed and uh, yeah, you have a total setup. So yeah, definitely like this uh, product. Let's go to the next item. Over here I have also a very nice uh, grow box. It's a bit more expensive, definitely. But uh, again, included with, uh, with lights, fans, nutrients even, um, hydro uh, equipment. And what I like about this one is look at this, it has a nice lock on it. So. If you want to have a stealth grow, it's uh, perfect. Fireproof also, very nice. So yeah, if you're looking for a stealth setup and you have the money and you want something that you can lock and has a nice design, it's a very good option. And yeah, let's go to the next item. Over here you see a serious grow case. I mean, look at this. Price is also no joke, but uh, like I showed you before, a grow tent is cheap because tent doesn't cost anything. But I mean, for a beautiful design like this, I mean, of course you're going to pay something for that. And um, Again, lockable. I really like that about this grow box. And um, fireproof also. Three year warranty, a lifetime, lifetime tech support. I mean, uh, we really give some respect to these people that make these boxes. I mean, they're definitely not cheap, but um, yeah, the quality they, uh, they give and uh, yeah, look at the design. I mean, uh, you won't see that in a lot of grow boxes. And uh, this is also expensive because look, you get a nice fan, you get light, you get a uh, uh, fan to blow on the plants, 150 watt uh, light, bulbs, nutrients. So um, yeah, it is expensive, but you get everything. I mean, if I uh, think back what I paid for all my stuff, I mean, it's definitely no joke. And um, yeah, let's go to the next item I have for you. Over here, you see very nice grow box also with an, um, yeah, not cheap. And um, what I want to show you directly is, look at this, the light that they uh, give. This is a very expensive light, it's one of the best on the market best on the market in my opinion i mean look at the design of this product i mean it says a lot and um kind leds are um, yeah well it's a very well respected brand and um you can see it, three watt diodes diodes and um again what I uh, what this one has and what the previous one also has is that you can 
grow the um, you have here here you have a place for the flowering stage so you have nice big plants over here and here you can have the little plants that they are in the growth stage so when you have harvested you can get this plant and set it over here and then you are always busy so there are two grow compartments and you see that also on this one here you see a compartment where you can grow the little plants grow stage and here you are constantly flowering and when you harvest bam, you get another one from here and put that here um, yeah maybe you think what the hell is this guy talking about super expensive stuff but yeah the light that you get with this one uh, this one is more expensive than this but uh, the light you get with this is serious stuff and look at the lock that they've set on this I mean it's uh, serious stuff and um, I even have this skint LED on my website if you go to my uh, YouTube homepage you can go to my website and yeah I have a lot of information and everything and um, also a lot of products the um, products all the products that i mentioned in this uh, video you can find that on the page over here youtube video info but uh, yeah look over here i have all the products that you need to grow your own that are grow that are bloom booster mylar foil carbon filter wiring a lot of leds some nice grow boxes grow tents and very nice LED systems those are cheap but not the best quality but look over here Kint LED I definitely wanted this on my website because yeah it's just best best light that I uh, it's, it's my dream to have that light very soon and um, this is the soil that I'm using uh, while we're still here let me show you some stuff this is soil that I'm using that are uh, professional they also have professional plus with a, a bit of extra nutrients but professional is also good and um, yeah these are the best soils that I advise Plagron uh, Light Mix Terra uh, Kana Terra Professional and Biobis Light Mix I like uh, light mixes because you don't want problems with nutrients I mean when you do everything good and you mess it up because of nutrients in the soil I mean that's sad, that's sad man. and um, here again the nutrients the only tree you need actually again some foil everything LEDs this is a very nice LED system cheap price but um, yeah look at this when so you want best of the best they even uh, provide you with some glasses because the LED light is not good for your eyes so it's also something you need to watch out for and I also want to show you the strains that I've grown in a PC box white berry from paradise seeds I have grown this strain a lot, several times. Great results, it's very, uh, I think a lot of growers have that when you are growing, you have just some strains that just, yeah, are special. And uh, this one is so fast and so frosty um, because I have had this, uh, grown this strain. I have uh, several videos. Uh, and I bought this strain because it grow longer than uh, a lot longer than this one uh, not a lot longer but some weeks and yeah you can see the result gave me a bigger harvest than the white berry but uh, I, I like the taste more of this one the white berry just uh, that's almost a sweet haze like uh, taste very nice and the strain that I'm growing now is from Dutch Passion um, White Widow CBD Dutch Passion and uh, yeah the, the plants are doing good and uh, I will keep you updated updated of course and I have 
some s stuff on the, the at least I have all the stuff uh, from the previous video over here you can see how I do this you see the video over here and I will place all the information on this page on my website um, I hope this was any uh, informative helpful um, let me know if you have any questions I can understand this crazy thing to uh, grow in a PC box and people will maybe think what the hell is this guy talking about but like I said before, I had some great results. So if you have questions how to do that, uh, just let me know. Watch my videos. I explain a lot of this stuff. But uh, I love to talk about this. So I definitely love to uh, explain you uh, stuff. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Peace.